What's up guys, my name is Will aka Y Trash Willie and today we have another painting video. So in today's painting video we have this beautiful Tilt Stage 3 deck. The size of this deck is 5 by 20 so it is the smaller Tilt deck. This Tilt deck right here is actually designed younger riders or park riders. So if you are somebody that wants to do overhead tricks but you also want to have a deck that's good for grinds but also want to have a strong deck that's also light, well, this is your deck right here. But this isn't a deck review. This right here is a painting video. And in this painting video, we're gonna make this deck look beautiful. But not only that, normally when I paint stuff, it's usually like my scooter, you know? And it's like, cool, Will, you have a cool scooter now. But now, for this specific video, and for future videos, I'm gonna start painting products, and they're gonna be given away on the Undialed Instagram. So if you guys aren't following the Undialed Instagram, go to the Undialed Instagram, and when you see this video, the giveaway will st be started. So uh, I would suggest going to Instagram and checking that out. The process of painting it is happening now. The first step that I'm gonna do is sand it. So let's sand it. <laughs> Alright, so I got the deck sanded right now, and it looks really nice, but it's kind of dirty. Um, so I'm going to get this paper towel and this alkaline water. You have to use alkaline water. The alkaline takes away the rust from aluminum, because that's how it works. Ooh. Look at that. See what the alkaline does? So the reason that I sanded this deck instead of using oven cleaner and making it completely raw is because I actually want to have a darker undertone on this deck and it's perfect that it's black because that will create the darker undertone. But beyond from that, the reason that I sanded it was the particular paint that I'm using in this video is acrylic paint and this acrylic paint needs something to... Uh, lay inside of on a microscopic scale so that way it can stay in place and not just chip up. So when you sand the deck you create all these little rivets in the texture of the deck and it looks very ugly if you don't do anything about it but if you do something about it and cover up all those little rivets with a visual um, coating then it'll stick really well. So that's why I sanded it. So you know what a great color is in this world that I feel like is really underappreciated is the color green. Green is such a large color. It's crazy. It's the opposite of red. We can see so many different shades of green. It's incredible. But green just gets boxed into just green. So today we're going to show the spectrum of green on this deck. And I think that'll be a really cool theme for this particular deck right now. So I'm going to find all the color greens that I can. I'm going to arrange them in order that's from dark to light, and that'll be the, the kind of spectrum that I'm gonna recreate on this deck. And I think that'll be a really nice look. So let me get together all the greens. So I think that this will be a pretty cool color spectrum. I know it doesn't go dark to light necessarily. It kind of goes dark to light to dark again. But I think this will be nice because over here it's like very green, and then it kind of turns highlighter and then it turns a little bit blue, and then this is more of a blue-green. So I feel like this will be a nice contrast of colors. So basically what I'm going to do for this deck, this, uh, this paint job is going to be really awesome. So if this is a paint job that you guys want to recreate, this would be a really cool one too, because it'll be pretty easy. I'm going to show you guys exactly what, what you need. So, so the first thing that you'll need is you'll need a paintbrush. So the reason that I'm using this paintbrush over this paintbrush is because I'm gonna create these waves in the pattern of the deck, and I want the waves to be a little bit tighter. So I want the waves to be about the size of this brush. If I wanted big waves, I could use this one right here, and uh, so that would create bigger waves. But I'm looking for medium-sized waves right now. I'd consider small waves, like a brush like this big, but I feel like this brush is just too small for this deck. Like, from a distance, it, it, you wouldn't be able to see the waves. So. 
That is the reason I'm using this brush, but for your deck, use whatever size brush you want. Shoot, it's your deck. So I'm gonna be moving down the colors and putting these colors on the deck is gonna be very easy. There's not a crazy process to this. I'm literally just going to squirt the colors onto the deck. So the first color that I'm doing is this darker green. And I'm gonna kind of just apply it as if I'm applying ketchup onto a hot dog. So that's about as much as the first color that I'll need. Um, you can see that I made it pretty thick, so I won't need much more than that. So when I use the second green, also known as Hooker's Green, that's literally the name of this, Hooker's Green. When I apply Hooker's Green opposing Green Deep, I'm going to overlap them a little bit. So I'm going to make the beginning of this paint overlap the end of this paint just a little bit. But then I'll apply it just like that. And there is the next color down on the deck. So the next one is light green. And the reason that I'm putting these paints so close together is I'm gonna to try to create this cool blending of a color, a cool spectrum. There needs to be good color blends. So from this color to this color, there needs to be some overlap so I can create all the different greens between these two greens. This next one is light green. Um, and light green is gonna go great against hooker's green. So I'm gonna overlap it just a little bit and Bam, looks nice. Now I got Claudius for Tessie Green. That's literally what it's called. So you just apply the neon fan. Bam, so this one right here, bright aqua green. Bright aqua green is gonna go so nice against Claudius. Just like, boom. And we're going up the head tube now. All right, now the final groom. You want, to take your, you want to take a shot at reading what that word is? Favaline green. Got it green. Is going down. Bam. Alrighty, so now we have the paint on the deck. And we got to work fast, alright? Because no this paint is starting to dry. Clean the ground, guys. Don't worry. It's okay. pH water down. All right, so now this is the fun part. Now you tank your brush. Make sure that the bristles aren't stuck together. And we are just going to start making the texture of the deck just a single consistency. So here we go. So I'm just spreading this paint around. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm using one brush for all of the colors. Just get it spread up, spread around. Bam. And see now the paints are now coming to, oh my gosh. The paints are coming out of the pants. So the reason that I'm going side to side like this is because the way that I laid the paint, I'm following the same grain. So that way all of the colors will blend like sectionally. If I go back and forth, then it'll just kind of create one color. And then if the paint starts building up on the edges, that's okay because we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to paint the edges. So if it starts building up on the edges, that's actually where you want it to be. Bam, now I have this big glob of paint on my paintbrush. And I'm just going to start just filling in the edges. So just try to make it nice and nice and smooth with the paint. And it's kind of like this fine line that you that you do when you're painting something like this because if you mix the paint too much together, you won't be able to see all of the different color variations. Like I kind of like how you can see the lighter yellow with the blue. Like I, I think that looks cool. It kind of looks like it's hydro dipped. And there's this fine line between, between 
under blending it and over blending it. So you want to find out that perfect area. And really the guide to figure out if you did it right is to figure out if you like it or not. If you like it, then, then you did it right. Ideally, when you're doing this, you're going to work in a spot where you don't have to like reach over. You can go sit on the other side, but I didn't think that far ahead. So if you're going to learn anything from this video, be smarter than me. Think ahead. And one more thing. If you end up needing some more paint, like suppose you, you've put more of one color than another color, you need to go back, you need to add more. Don't be afraid to add more. I do it all over the time. When you're at this point, when you're at the point with your, when you're at the point in your life when you know your rap career started. Peace out. False alarm. Usually when things happen like that, I know it's the truth. It was not the truth that time. Unless. So once you're at this point, um, you're gonna have the deck. <laughs> and the deck is gonna be looking pretty sick. Like, I think this looks sick right now. Um, but, 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 you're gonna have areas of the deck that are a little bit thicker with paint, and you're gonna have other areas that are a little bit thinner. So your objective right now, while the paint is like starting to dry a little bit, you wanna just kind of go around and just really make sure that everything is like equal thickness of paint. If you're, especially if you're using acrylic paint like I am right now. That's really important. So we're gonna go through right now and we're just going to, like you can see right here, like there's like a big glob right here. Like we're just gonna take away all the globs and we're gonna make all the globs just like nice and not globby. So unfortunately, you might kind of ruin a, a little bit of the cool swirling that you got going on um, because the cool swirling comes from the, the changing in height of the different paint levels of the deck. Um, but that's, you don't want to have the globby deck. Like that would just not be good. And a lot of the times you're, you're sometimes just taking off paint. Like there's going to be some extra paint sometimes. Like don't feel bad about just scraping it off. Something that you could think about when you're doing this is you got to think about like the grain of the deck. Like for me, it's like, I'm painting the head tube like back and forth, but I'm painting the deck like side to side. And when you think about that, that's kind of contrasting grains. Um, but if you were to paint the, the head tube back and forth and paint the deck up and down, the whole paint job would look completely different, which is interesting. It's like where, where it directs your eyes, how it tr tricks your brain into thinking about it. So I'd play around and I'd think about the textures of the deck, the grain of the deck. Like what do you want to manipulate? You got your color down, you got your basic idea, now it's just like, all right, this, this is gonna dry, and when it dries, I don't wanna have these rippets, these ripples in the deck. You're gonna have microscopic ripples, that's inevitable, but like, big ripples, you don't want that, because that's just like, that's just gonna chunk off, like it's not even gonna stay on the deck, like it's just, it's gonna be pulled off by a tail whip. I mean, unless it's under your grip tape, but then you like, but then your deck has wrinkles in it, like you don't want that. Alrighty guys, so it's been a few hours and we are back, back in the stew, um, and got the deck right here. It's crazy, um, acrylic paint dries really, really quickly, so it's already dry, which is really sick. Um, so right now what we gotta do is we gotta paint the bottom. And I was waiting to paint the bottom because I feel like in an ideal world, I would have had the deck like hanging in some cool way. I could just paint it all at once. But unfortunately, I got this.
piece of skate light. And you know what? It's fine because this deck looks amazing so far. But right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to paint the bottom. So I think a good color to paint the bottom would be a blue color. And the reason being why I say a blue color is because I'm going to have the bottom bleed a little bit onto the top. And, um, and when that happens, I think it's going to contrast the green really nicely. So let's paint this blue. So I'm using one of the greens that I used um, with the top coat with the blue colors because I think it'll be the perfect color that's in between the blue and the green. So when this starts fading in with the green, it's going to be the, the perfect color to kind of match them together but also create some contrast. Um, so what I'm going to do on the bottom is very similar to what I did on the top but I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. So. Let's watch, let's enjoy. So I have the same size brush as last time, just a nice little half inch. Um, and now I'm gonna apply these colors. So I have quite a few different shades of blue. I think the blue that I wanna have at the bottom is this one. It just has like this really cool sheen to it. It's kind of like it had purple in it. It's ultramarine blue. Ultramarine, that's a cool name. The next one I have is the, the, the blue. The next one we have is primary blue. This is like the blue blue. This is like the blue. The next one we have in the lineup is a uh, Karuan blue hue. <laughs> so, so far this is the lineup. Now we're going to the green colors or the more green colors. And I think that the perfect avenue for these would be the turquoise blue and then the bright aqua green and then finally the light blue permanent so what I'm going to be doing with this blue is I'm going to be just kind of covering the entirety of the bottom Shoot. Probably should have taken out that axle. Oh well. I have another axle, a new axle. So if you win this deck, you won't get this axle. I promise. So now what I'm going to do to take this to the next level is I'm going to use this paint, this extra paint that's at the bottom, and I'm going to blend it in cool ways to the rest of the deck. I'll show you. So it's been a couple hours, um, it's been a lot of hours actually, since we last painted this, but now it is dry and it is, it is literally like good right now, like it's ready to be shredded. If you want to win this deck, you see this picture on the screen right now, head over to the Undialed Instagram and on the Undialed Instagram, you'll see the instructions to enter to win this deck. And this deck is truly one of a kind. Once again, 20 by five tilt deck, very beautiful, one of a kind, painted by yours truly. So I hope you guys learned something from this video um, in regards to technique and painting. And if not, good luck in winning this deck because I know whoever receives this deck will be really stoked. So, 
Yeah, I like look at it. It looks so nice. So you just hold it up there. That's a better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video more painting videos to come and more giveaways to come too. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.